really gross. So are your parents home for dinner enough with the, you know, your parents working in the restaurant? Is there really a dinner time at home? We are open. <laughs> what? We are open. Call us at 539. <laughs> we are open every day except Wednesdays. So Wednesday nights are the only time that we eat dinner as a family. Dinner time is not very exciting, so I mean, I could really care less. So, well, it's not like the normal, like, how was your day? Oh, that's good. Like, it's mostly like, what do you want to eat for dinner? And then when we get dinner, it's just, we're eating, and then, <laughs> and then we'll talk about random stuff, maybe, and then everyone goes and do their own thing afterwards. How often do you work at Friends New Orleans Rice? Um, recently not very much at all because of school and stuff, but over the summer I'll work uh, almost every evening if I can, or at least, um, at least during the weekends because they get real busy. How does that affect you hanging out with friends and wanting to do your own thing? Well, I get, it kind of sucks just because, yeah, well, I get, like, mornings to hang out with them because I don't come in to work till 5 or 6. So I'll usually hang out with people in the mornings, but then, like, yeah, afterwards, it's, like, when people actually are fun and stuff, like, actually want to hang out, which is later at night. Like, I usually can't go. But um, once in a while, I'll ask them if I can, like, you know, go to the movies with people or, like, anything, really, hang out with people at night. How do you feel the family functions in the restaurant compared to at home? Is it a big difference? Um, Why are you laughing? Cause... <laughs> <laughs> okay, go on. okay, at work it's more like get work done, if that makes sense. Just like work, work, work. It's it's more business oriented. Like even if like people get mad at each other, it'll be it'll tend to get personal because you know it's we're family like we know each other so um so we try to keep it business oriented i'd say like we'll discuss this at home or like we'll do this later or something just get the customers their food basically well tell me about what you know uh, of your parents choice to come to the u.s from thailand um both my parents they they came separately, like they didn't know each other when they were in Thailand. My dad's from Bangkok, my mom's from the south, the countryside. Both of them coincidentally came here to Chicago um, for school. My mom came because her sister was here, and uh, my dad came because his aunt was here. And uh, they met that way just because the Thai community in Chicago is kind of close-knit. A lot of people know each other, so they ended up meeting that way. But yeah, they both came here for, for school. What gave them the idea to open a business? Um, from what I know, it's they they've always wanted a business. Um, but since me and my brother were just kids and stuff, they just because business takes a lot, a lot of time, and uh, they just uh, decided to hold it off till we got older, so they can you know just raise us and stuff first. So after we got older, that's when they decided like, okay, now we can do our dream, open this business. We could take a trip to the Buddha room too, if you would, if you'd like. Af after I describe stuff. I know that that neighborhood isn't really like a Thailand community; it's more of like a like diverse. So did they encounter any problems at first when they first opened up? Um, there's a Chinese restaurant. <laughs> 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 well, across the street. I mean, I guess it's just any business, really, in general. I mean, there's obviously Asian food competition against Asian food competition. So the Chinese restaurant, when we first opened, I'm pretty sure they, they checked up on us regularly. But now it's not even them. It's like, you know, even the Mexican restaurant, the Indian restaurant, the Japanese restaurant next to us that are now open after we opened, they come check up on us regularly too. It's just just competition, the nature of it. How are you in Well, I was born here. So I think when I was younger, my parents were a lot more, especially my dad, a lot more in like raising me under the Thai culture just because he hasn't been here for that long at that point. 
But as I got older, it, everything at home became a little more Americanized. I didn't really have to follow the Thai culture kind of rules, like you can't touch an elder's head, like just random weird things that we can't do. So I was raised under that. And also um, the whole Buddhism religion thing, like I was pretty much raised Buddhist. Um, went to temple all the time too. But I also went to the Catholic school when I was younger, so it was kind of conflicting. And right now I have no religion. So, but I still like, to this day, I still follow like all the, all the kind of Thai religious kind of things that I have to do. Like we set out water for the Buddha statues that we have here and like food and stuff. And I, every Friday I have to get them new water, cha change out the food every Wednesdays. So, I mean, I do that for them. Yeah, well, I would, I, I'd like to think that that's more me and not my Buddhist upbringing, but I don't know. Dealing with the restaurant and everything, do they have any plans for you and any other things? Um, they opened the restaurant primarily to save up for uh, mine and Ben's college. Uh, we opened in 04, so that's when I started high school, and that's when Ben was in the second year, so that's when they started saving for our, our school. Yeah, kind of like that's always kind of uh, having their own business is sort of um, what they wanted to do for a while, and they they got into like food kind of business to see how how they run it. Especially my dad, who's manager at Sbarro's for like so many years, so he learned how to run a business and things like that. So yeah, that's definitely something that they wanted to do to to make a living, but also very much it goes towards, you know, helping our college stuff. Okay, do it. Hey, come along with me. We're going to go check out the Buddha room. Here it is. To your right, you can see pictures of um, the fifth king of Thailand and uh, a little water and pomegranate offering type thing. Below here are my grandparents from my mother's side. Both are deceased, which is why they're there. We have water offerings for them, water for the Buddhas, fruit. Here you see Buddha statues. This is where you pray, kind of. You just bow. I'm not gonna demonstrate. <laughs> <laughs> you kinda did. Um, this, also this, this table here with the water and the fruit. I'm not so sure if it's for the king, particularly, because I remember my dad saying something about, um, that's for just the random spirits that come around. You make them happy so they don't break our house. Yeah, as a bird, <laughs> yeah.